Hello. I was delighted when I was able to get the creme de la creme of rat cages at a good price. I bought the Critter Nation rat cage and then got three female rats from the local reptile store and two male rats from Rat Rescue. Then I realized there was a problem. And the problem was Gracie. Gracie loves the rats in a sort of predatory way. And I realized that these bars, which are perfect for the rat for climbing, um, these bars allow their tails to come out and hang out. And I was afraid that Gracie was going to do a tail surgery. Also, Gracie has a tendency to throw herself at the bars while the rats are climbing. And while the bars are narrow enough that Gracie can't get her muzzle in and take a bite, I worry that she could bruise the little paws by throwing herself at it while they're climbing. So, <clears throat> there, uh, the problem was I needed to somehow rat proof, I mean dog proof or cat proof the cage. Um, however, I didn't want to ruin the virtues of the cage, so I wanted the cage to remain see-through. Um, if I put some kind of covering on it, it would have to be something I could see through. And I also know how when rats climb their bars, sometimes they scent mark and splash things. And so whatever I put across the surface was going to become dirty. So I would need to be able to clean it. Um... So that meant I would need to be able to remove whatever I put on. And knowing that I'm lazy, um, I needed whatever I put on to be easy to remove. So the project turned into um, met, well, what I did was I measured how far I thought Gracie could reach. Uh, an errant tail sticking out and wrote up my measurements and took them to the local plexiglass store and bought pieces of plexiglass. Um, I decided this was about the height that I wanted to protect. I didn't have to worry about the back of the cage because the back of the cage is up against the wall. Um, so what I did was I got pieces of plastic on the sides. The plexiglass was a large piece from a quarter of the way up the first, a quarter of the way up the top unit and completely covering the bottom unit. For the front of the cage, I completely covered the two bottom doors and partially covered the top doors. Okay, so the plexiglass comes to here. Um, and on the side, another long piece. To solve the problem of my own laziness, wing nuts. We used wing nuts. Then we discovered if we use this uh, washer, it keeps the plastic from wobbling a lot when it's on. And there's another washer underneath. Another thing I was concerned about was I didn't want the plastic to be flush up against the bars because part of the reason you keep, you're keeping your rats in a cage 
rather than an aquarium is that you want that ventilation and you don't want humidity to build up. So I did want a gap between the plastic and the bars. So what we did, you can see it here, was use some bolts to create a little distance between the bars and the glass. Drilled holes in the plastic. Not sure you can see the hole. Let's see. Put my, I apologize for bouncing you around. Okay. Drilled holes in the plastic. Put the plastic over the washer. Other washer on. Locate the wing nut. Put the wing nut on. So now whenever I want to clean my rat cage, I can remove the sheets of plexiglass as well. Sponge them down. And I did discover they do get stuff on the inside. I don't do the plexiglass cleaning with every cage clean, but I do them with some frequency. And so that is my rat proof. I'm sorry, it's not rat proof. That's my dog proof and I suppose cat proof cage. I had the people who cut the plexiglass for me cut little indentations. Of course, you have to measure ahead of time for all of this. Little indentations for where the um, door latches are. And now, Gracie has her rat TV. But nobody's getting their little tails snipped off. Um, it's not 100% foolproof because of the fact that I did allow um, space between the plexiglass and the bars. Theoretically, a tail, I suppose, could hang out down here, theoretically. I've never seen one do it. But I think that I have greatly reduced, reduced the risk. And that's my... Um, story of how I have rep dog proofed <laughs> my critter nation cage hope you enjoyed this video